Hi, we're sitting here with Lorenzo de Bonaventura, the producer of Red 2, as well as a number of franchises uh, we'll get to in a minute that I'm sure you've heard of. Uh, and, you know, I have to say, this is, everyone's talking about comic book movies. It's a big comic book movie summer, and this mm. is a comic book movie. Yes, it is. Why do you think uh, comic book movies are doing so well in Hollywood at every level? Uh, well, I think there's different kinds of comic books, first mm -hmm. of all. You know, ours is a little bit different than what everybody else is doing. Uh, I think they have a great sense of imagination, and people want wish fulfillment, and comic books are usually about wish fulfillment. Oh, wow. What would you say the, is the wish of Red and Red 2? Uh, the wish of Red is, is that uh, we don't get discarded as we get older and that we're still as talented as we ever were. I love that, you know, and I think that you have produced some of the great action franchises. You know, you do the Transformers films, G.I. Joe, Salt, mm -hmm. uh, and also the upcoming Jack Ryan reboot. And you've also you've been putting um, seasoned actors in those films as well. You have Bruce Willis in G.I. Joe 2, mm -hmm. and Kevin Costner has a major role and in Jack, Jack Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Would you say that the success of the first Red is what's making that maybe more uh, palatable to the studios? Uh, you know, I think uh, what Red 1 did was it really woke up people that there's this large audience that will come to see <laughs> at any age, honestly. You know, one of the interesting things has happened to the first movie is, is that in the theaters we didn't get a lot of kids, but in the aftermarket we've gotten a ton of kids, and so it has aged down a lot yeah. in the aftermarket. And it's interesting because you talk to these 12, 14, 15 year olds and they love it for the same reason that we do. That's great. That's fantastic. And also back to comic book movies, the first movie you ever produced independently uh, under your own shingle was mm. also a comic book movie, yep. Constantine. Constantine yeah. So uh, how do you think you got ahead of the curve there? <laughs> and uh, what, how do you think it's changed at all? Uh, well, I think there's been a recognition of the size of the audience that is that is uh, has always been passionate about comic books. Uh, I think Hollywood's always chased them. I think it's just we're doing it more now because we recognize that the base is much larger than people ever thought it was. I think that's one thing. And I think the creators, it's a very freeing kind of um, uh, art and that kind of freedom translates well to trying to stretch it out to a much longer venue. And I think that, you know, it being a graphic orientation also has something to do with why when we put it on screen it has a really interesting look. Well, you know, speaking of look, you've really uh, up the, up your game with Red too. I and mean, you also have international locations. You've yeah. added uh, Catherine Cedar Jones and Anthony Hopkins. What made you decide to go bigger? Uh, you know, I th it was really a fun aspect of the first one was the travelogue. And we thought, all right, we need to make it sexier and even bigger <laughs> and more fun. And so, you know, Moscow, Paris, London, um, was a great, also not a bad place to shoot, yeah. but, um, <laughs> you know, we wanted to give the fans more. And I think part of the specialness of the second movie is we were able to keep the core group together. And then we were add, adding, you know, amazing actors on top of Byung Hung Lee is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Anthony Hopkins, Catherine Zeta Jones, David Tulis, who plays the frog, is really <laughs> like a great actor who's come aboard. And that's the kind of fun thing for us to do, actually. And actors see it as something fun to join that group. So we've had a lot easier time, I think, attracting people that we might not otherwise You've got a have. great uh, ad already, well, right? Well, we do, <laughs> you know, and, and they've heard that, they, that we have a good time together, and so it's, it's kind of brought a lot of interesting people together. Also, I'm glad you brought, you brought up uh, Byung Han Lee. You, also, for your Transformers 4, you're, you have a reality show going on right now in China to find an actor to be in that film. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel the, the Asian market, which is really you know, China's become right away the second biggest movie mm -hmm. market. How do you think that's affecting Hollywood? Well, I think we're just cognizant of it. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't think we're changing product, per se, mm -hmm. or, or creatively picking a particular subject matter, but we're more, you know, you know, the Korean cinema is really a rich cinema, and they've got a lot of great directors, they have a lot of great actors, you know, so out comes Byung Hung Lee, you know, so I think it's, uh, you know, obviously, it has become as important to us as Europe, if not more important. So on that level, we want to understand what their sensibilities are and try to incorporate them into our movies.